name is Omoke Adebanjo. I work for Mastercard. I have the privilege of running the business of Mastercard across West Africa. Also, oh, it's very simple. It's a world beyond cash. And because this is our vision, you know, we're focused on developing technology, you know, that is simple, safe, smart, but enables people to move from cash payments to electronic payments. We believe that migration to electronic digital payments, electronic payments actually makes a difference to the lives of citizens. We believe that it makes a difference to the lives of even the government. I was saying earlier that we did some research to show that the cost of cash to an economy is between 0.5% to 1.5% of the country's GDP. That's huge. You know, so it's one of the reasons why we do what we do, you know, um, to, to ensure that people get and work with partners, of course, when it comes to financial um, inclusion, to ensure that people get products that are simple, safe, smart, for them to be to, as alternatives to cash, but will work well to fit their lifestyle. So th that's what we do. Okay, so I don't think I'm best placed to answer this question. Okay. I'm a technology company, but I'm not described as a fintech, neither am I a bank. Okay. So I don't think that I'm best placed to answer. However, I think that I'll, I'll answer from the perspective of MasterCard, where we see ourselves as a market organizer. It's one of the roles we play. And from that approach, the market organizer approach, we look at collaborations. Disruption is good. Um, but I think that we can all solve the financial inclusion challenge together. So I think I might be a bit, I might look at things a little bit differently than a bank would. But I'll say this, that in the recent past, we've seen banks that are disrupting from within. Banks are coming up with their own digital banks and banks are partnering with fintechs. So the tension that everybody, the creative tension that everybody is expecting to see might not come in the form you are expecting to see because if I use a Nigerian example um, and this is not as if this is it's some examples within Nigeria if I extrapolate that we are seeing partnerships and we're seeing some competition but very interesting almost collaborative competition happening so I, I, I mean but then I'm talking from an outsider perspective I work for MasterCard we're a tech company but you know we're not a bank So the future of cards cash, cash. or cash, yeah. why would I be interested in the future of cash? My job is a future beyond cash, in a, in a world, in a, it's actually a world beyond cash, a future where cash does not exist. So I'm not interested in the future of cash. Okay. I'm interested in a future where people know that they can do business and make payments and earn money and all this can be in another digital form that is not cash. That's the future I'm interested in. I'm interested in a future where fintechs, banks, everyone is interested in the financially excluded and we're creating products that are using what they already have in their hands to be able to deliver service to them. That's the future I'm interested in. I'm interested in a future where governments begin to, to focus on the cost of cash like the government of Nigeria has done so and begin to give enabling policies that ensure that everyone in that ecosystem thrives and is able to do what they know how to do best. I'm interested in a future where an entrepreneur, when they're thinking of how to make money, that's what they're focusing on. They're not thinking of how to collect that money. They're not thinking of how to count and get money to the bank. Let them focus doing what they know how to do best. Let us focus on how to make their lives easier. So the future I'm thinking about is not a future of cash, it's a future of simple, safe, smart digital payments. It's a future where MasterCard achieves its vision and we get to a world that is beyond cash.